The ability to sustain is within our nature. It's in us. Nature follows established patterns. It is the culture of all life. So, nature culture is a philosophy that can show us how we connect with the cycle of life and prolong a peaceful existence. It is in our DNA to sustain, to maintain, and to thrive. It's a balance, a balanced life. It endures and it evolves from the past into the future. When we live a nature culture lifestyle, we are moving towards alignment with the divine design. And this, brothers and sisters, is sustainability. So let's talk about how to maintain sustainability. Now that we know that it comes in the package of us, we're born with it. But, like anything else, how do we maintain it? Can we manage it? Can we improve it? How can we better understand this phenomenon? The nature's divine design is found throughout the universe, all up into the galaxies, in our fruits and plants, in the insects in the most tiny seeds of life, we'll find nature's divine design. Take a look at the many signs and symbols and patterns in our universe. Stop and observe nature. Can we not see the consistent designs and cycles? We are created just like the universe as human beings, starting from atomic and subatomic elements that build into cells and organs. We create families as individuals. We create communities. And we can see that on this planet, it builds itself with the solar system, the galaxies, and the universe. So we can see that the human is like an atom and like a universe, all rolled into one being. Therefore, we're subject to the same forces of energy that the universe provides. Think about it. We're in the middle of this phenomenon. And just like the beginning and the end, there is none. We have no beginning and we have no end. So in step two of how to maintain sustainability, we'll start talking about the role of the individual. We'd like to remind you that understanding the self, mind, body, and soul, is of great importance. Then once understanding the self, Strengthening that individual self becomes our next task. And as we strengthen ourselves, we strive to increase our awareness and consciousness of not only ourself, but our environment. Little by little, we improve ourselves so that we can come into alignment with nature. This is the sacred mission of life, to be one with the divine design. Talking about some of the things that we can do to strengthen ourselves. Building a better brain is one. we got to talk about what we eat. And we got to talk about what we think. If we can eat better, 
We can build better brains and what? Think better. And don't we need to think better? If we do physical exercises, and we should, we should make them physical exercises that cooperate with our daily lifestyle. Some suggestions have been yoga and Tai Chi. I personally suggest gardening and yard work. Work up a sweat. Do that physical exercise. Eat better food. Don't let those calories get you down. Then practice self-discipline. Things like fasting. Sobriety. And humility. We have to stop getting high. If we want our brain to work better, we've got to clear our minds our body, and our soul. Work on some spiritual practices, whichever you choose. Meditation, prayer, many ancestral rituals are available for us to follow. This is what our ancestors did. It's how they sustained themselves and passed life on to you. Next, step three. Create a sustainable community. And I'd like to underline the important part of a sustainable community is getting along with others. We have had such a hard time getting along with others. We've got to invest more time and energy with others. Yes, we can do much for ourselves. But we can't go very far without others. So as we build community, what's our role in sustainability? Well, participatory development is one thing where everybody has a voice. That's how we strengthen social relationships. We have to learn to listen. Listen to the other voices. Then develop a collective consciousness where we begin to develop righteous thoughts with each other. Practice better moral character. We know all the different principles and characters. Start practicing, practicing many of them. We can all use more moral character. And when we do that, we can come closer to one another and build collective consciousness. Once we do it, we have to organize, organize ourselves. We're in, we're in a place and a world where there are a lot of secular responsibilities and obligations. We know we have to pay those mortgages. We have to, sometimes we have to pay those electrical bills and those uh, utilities. If we live in towns and municipalities, they have rules and regulations and laws that we have to obey. And so we need to learn how to organize ourselves into responsible organizations and recognize the administrative and secular responsibilities that come with an organization. Then, once we do that, we put it together and continue adjusting to align ourselves, never stop. Always, always looking to adjust, improve, make things better. Step four, creating a space for the process of healing alignment. Alignment is a form of healing. And so 
we have to build the right environment so that we can heal. We need good land and good water. We need to breathe good air. And we need to conserve these things. We must learn to grow and consume our own food. We all know what's happening out there in the grocery store. Even at the best grocery store. If you don't know what you're, what you're buying, then you won't know what you're eating. The best way to know what you're eating is to grow your own. If you've never done it, it's time to get started. If something happens to the system we live in and the chain of movement for food in this country is interrupted, we'll be in trouble unless we grow our own food. Respect the animals and the insects. They have a place in this world too. Respect them. Watch them. See how they live. Learn to work with all of the creation's life structure. And finally, know your neighbors. Wherever you build your community, you're going to have neighbors. It might be down the road, across the hill, or right next door. Those neighbors, whether we like it or not, are a part of your community. They may be on the edge of your community, but yet they are part of you. And we must be able to get along. So, know your neighbors. Get along with your neighbors. Create a layout. Sit down with your team members. Work out a plan on your land. What's it going to look like? Do you have water? Do you have pasture? Woods? Woodland? Build the things that are going to make you sustainable, self-sustainable. Build a place where your artisans can create things. Where your gardeners and farmers can grow things. Where your builders can build things. Build homes that are ecologically sustainable. Provide your own wind and solar energy. Build your spiritual center where you can all come together and pray together, meditate together. Build your school where you can come and learn together, teach and train. Build your marketplace so that you can become producers and sell your ware and not just be consumers that have to run to the store. So sit down. Take a look. Draw out something and start talking about what you're going to do on your land. How much space do you have? Work with what you have. If you don't have resources, begin to develop some. The greatest resource is yourself. So when you put yourselves together, you'll find that you have more. As we build organizational sustainability, we have to develop a council. One recommendation has been a council of elders. Selecting the right participants. Making sure that all the elders and participants have a voice. Slow down. Listen to your fellow man and woman. You know, we always have this urge to hurry up and get things done. 
that has to be controlled because you need others to execute any plan, any idea. So take your time. Take the time that's needed to develop. You must develop a collective consciousness. Once you, once you do it, build yourself a structure, whatever it is. Profit making, non-profit making, school, academy, farm. But build your structure so you can have some learning and healing. Become producers and not just consumers. Learn to do for self. Once we learn these things, talk about it together. Talk about how we can advance it. Create among yourselves graduate scholars who learn how to live a nature culture life. Keep building. Teach the young. Develop a clear model of your community's sustainability. And then take that model to the world. Surely the world today needs good models of sustainability. So in summary, know your universe from the atom to the outer reaches of space. Know yourself, mind, body, and soul. Create a community that is participatory, where everybody has a voice. Use ancient wisdom. Seek out the advice of your elders and the ancient ones. They left a lot of wisdom for us to follow. Seek it and you shall find it. Learn to balance the sacred mission of alignment with divine design and the secular obligations in today's organization. Put those things together and create a community that will be sustainable. Then teach and train others. Again, we can't do it by ourselves. Teach and train others. Thank you.